Yes, that's correct. The default password is root and pass to the Axis device. Absolutely. Thanks for calling Axis. Hey, Jeff. Time to go and do some filming. Hey, let me finish up this call. I'll meet you over there. Okay, see you over there. Hello everyone and welcome to this episode of the Axis Network. Today we're going to focus on services and at Axis we have many different services such as professional services, educational services, design services with our tool, but most importantly technical services. It's something that sometimes is seen to be working in the background a little bit, but it's so essential for our joint success. I can only pretend to cover all of it, so I'm going to introduce the real expert in tech support, the Director of Technical Services for the Americas, Jeff Coco, to the show. Jeff, welcome. Hey, Frederick. Good to see you. Good to see you. Yeah. How are you doing? I'm doing well. I am doing well. This is not your first day at Axis. You've been here for a while. Yes, just a minute. Uh, about 16 years now, a little bit over 16 years. Um, I was lucky enough to be hired as the fourth technical support engineer uh, in the Americas, and now I am in incredibly lucky to have an amazing, talented team of 70 people in technical service. Wow, 70 people. And pretty much all of them located here in Chelmsford, right? Uh, mainly Chelmsford. We do have a few folks in Florida. And we do have one wild card out in Iowa. Why not? Yeah, why not? So if I'm a partner of Axis and I want to reach tech support, what kind of means and, and, and types of communication can I expect? Yeah, so if you're looking for technical support, we have three main ways that you can get support for our product line. Uh, one is via phone. Okay. Uh, so we do have phone lines that are open from 9 o'clock to 8 o'clock Eastern Time, Monday mm -hmm. through Friday, with modified hours for Brazil as well, uh, because we do have uh, Portuguese-speaking engineers that do Brazil support. Okay. So um, they're open at 7 a.m. Uh, the other way that you can reach us is chat. Chat is available for 24-5. Uh, we do that with a little bit of follow the sun using some other groups around the, uh, around the globe, one in okay. Singapore and one in Sweden. Okay. And then the third way that you can reach us is via our online help desk. Uh, mm -hmm. The online help desk allows you to create a ticket, add details, add logs, snapshots, and um, we answer those, uh, those cases as they come in as well. So Sam, a partner, I have a, a question about uh, a speaker. Mm -hmm. Do I need to know whom to call or how do you structure the incoming calls? No, it's great. Uh, one phone line, uh, you call into one phone line and within, uh, once you choose option two, mm -hmm. uh, within 35 seconds, you should have an answer from our tier one team. 35 seconds, not minutes. Correct. Less than half a, mi or 30, half a minute. Yeah, 35 minutes would be bad. So uh, wow. yep, 35 seconds is the average. And um, that tier one team is customer service. They triage the case. Mm -hmm. uh, they're handling about, uh, or resolving about 35% of the calls that come into, that, uh, into their line without even having to transfer them to tier two. Okay, so one third of the customers or partners calling in mm -hmm. get that resolved right away. Yep. And if it doesn't get resolved, do you have to call again or how do you? No, uh, tier one does the triage of the case. Again, tier one being uh, you know, customer service, they will, listen to your call, uh, listen to your problem, and then actually route it to the correct queue in the back end. So our okay. tier two team is a specialized team. Mm -hmm. um, when I was doing support, it was very easy. Cameras, uh, we talked a little bit about software back then, and that was mm -hmm. about it. Uh, now you have pretty much everything. We're a solution company. So you have cameras, you have software, you have uh, you know audio, you have access control. I mean, there's no way you can 2N. be an expert. Yeah, yes, the intercom, 2N as well. Yeah. Uh, there's no way you can be an expert on all of it. So what we've done is we've specialized that team so that when the customer does call, they're getting an expert rather than a generalist if we had them try to remember everything. So your team is covering all of the Americas, this time zone basically in, in North and South America. That means you have some different languages yep. to support? Yep. So we do Spanish support for all of Central and South America. Yeah. Uh, we do have Portuguese speakers on staff as well that do uh, support for Brazil. Uh, and when we uh, need to tag in some other resources, if we can't resolve something in our, um, in our local team, we can actually transfer cases or, or, or uh, you know, not calls, but cases to our product specialist team in Sweden. Mm. 
The best tech support call is the one that doesn't happen because oh. the customer got the information before, they found it somewhere else, or it was so easy to use the product. What is your team doing to help that kind of journey? Uh, so technical services is actually adding a lot of value to our academy classes. Okay. Um, who knows better what customers need help with than tech support mm -hmm. because we're fielding all those questions that aren't answered. Uh, so what happens is we take the content from those cases and calls and we're actually adding that to our academy classes as suggested material to be covered. So this way, you know, customers are learning from real world experience rather than just general terms. Mm -hmm. What else can your team do with all this fantastic knowledge about the challenges that our customers and partners have? Yeah, I mean, one of the best things, one of the most exciting things I'm really happy about is, is we're adding value to the product okay. by um, making it easier to install, easier to configure, mm -hmm. and a third component is we're actually adding help sections or information into the product that educates the customer. I mean, most people don't want to call technical services, mm -hmm. right? So if the product can teach them or educate them on how to use it best, it's a win. That's perfect. Mm -hmm. Last question. Who can call your team? We are working sti strictly in our two-tier channel, mm -hmm. so I'm guessing it's really for the system integrators, right? No, yeah, it's system integrators, but it's pretty much anybody, Fred. Yeah. Um, so, you know, we get customers, uh, end users, we get integrators, we get distributors. Uh, pretty much anyone can call on a pre- or post-sales support question, and we'll help them out. So that's the important thing. If you have any questions, end customer, integrator, technology partner, Distributor, mm -hmm. Jeff team is here to help you. So here that's a great out. service we have. Yeah. So we covered a ton of ground, right? Yeah. So absolutely. I'm curious to see how much you remember. Okay. Well, why don't we do that over a little friendly competition out on the ping pong table? How's that sound? Ah, wonderful. I'm Let's game. Go. All right, Frederick. We covered a lot of ground in our conversation. So I'm going to ask you three questions and see how many of them you can get. I'm ready. First, first question: What are the three different ways? that you can contact technical support here Phone. at Phone. Chat. Yep. Help desk. Ah, very nice. All right. What are the three different languages we support in our technical support team here in the Americas? Uh, Frederick. It's Spanish. Yep. Portuguese for our friends in Brazil. Yep. And English, of course. Okay, very good. <laughs> All right, Frederick, last question. Beyond cases, calls, and chats, what are the two additional ways that tech services adds value to our product line? Supportability, meaning easier to support products, yep. working with R&D in Sweden. Absolutely. And improved, even improved academy with all the real life experience from tech support. Ah, perfect, you are paying attention. Great. That concludes the Access Network. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, Jeff, for joining us as well. You got it. Now let's finish the game. Let's go.